So Sally, who have you chosen as your celebrity style icon? I've chosen Stella McCartney. Um, I really rate Stella McCartney, both as a designer and as a woman in her personal style. I love her personal style and it's impossible to sort of separate the two because she always wears her own designs, which I really admire. I think she's the only fashion designer I can think of who really kind of walks the walk as well as talks the talk. She looks like a real woman, but completely cool, effortlessly stylish. And much as she's sort of multi-millionaire, she is a mum of four and she is extremely busy and works all the hours God sends and I think she bears all those factors in mind when designing. And what do you think are some of classic Stella pieces that you um, would pick out as things that she often wears that are key elements of her look? When you think of Stella McCartney, you think of tailoring because obviously she trained under a tailor, so she's brilliant at tailoring and cutting and so on. But what I love about it is that she adapts it completely to a woman's body, so it never looks mannish, it sort of plays with curves, it works with the shape of your body. And that's the sort of style I think of when I think of her very sort of easy classic pieces, but really forgiving, which um, I obviously appreciate as a woman of 37. <laughs> and I suppose I very much think of her as trousers as well, and um, I tend to wear lots of skirts and dresses and if I wear trousers they're usually only jeans but when I think of her I think of her in really cool like sort of little cigarette pants and um, a tailor jacket over the top which just looks amazing on her I think and is the style most women I think can aspire to. One of the things I really like about how Stella dresses is that she sort of takes trends but never looks like she's dressing on trend, it's kind yeah. of, it looks modern and contemporary rather than uh, catwalk legs. Absolutely, she knows what suits her and she never sort of turns up in fancy dress according to whatever season it is, she always, always looks like Stella McCartney and that sort of sense of herself really kind of oozes confidence. And do you think there are kind of lessons we can take away from Stella, um, ideas and looks that we can take from the way she dresses? Yes, totally, I really love the fact that she'll mainly have a really limited classic colour palette for her kind of staples and her tailoring. If ever she wears colour, she tends to wear it all in one print rather than as coloured separate. Um, I really like that, it makes it much easier to get dressed in the morning, you're not gazing into your wardrobe for ages trying to decide what to wear, which um, is great I think for a working woman. Okay, so should we have a look and see what we've got here, if we yes, can find you some, why not? some stellar looks? Yeah. So let's start with this French Connection dress. This kind of picks up on what you were saying mm. about one kind of bold overall print. Again, I would sort of wear it with black, something really, really plain, and um, some nice shoes. It's yeah. really cute, that. And then this one. Yeah, I love that. One of the things I like about her look is that it's very grown up, but it's still quite fun. Totally, really and that, girlish and yeah. playful. Okay, so we like that one. A pair of trousers here, these are Topshop. Everybody likes a nice Topshop jean. I think Stella would wear these with a bit of a rolled up ankle a kind of useful takeaway from her style for a, uh, you know, a non 20 something lady is that she's very good about always showing kind of a little bit of skin but not sort of flashing a lot of flesh so there'll always be kind of a bit of a rolled up ankle or sometimes just a rolled up sleeve. Yeah she quite often does a sort of Miami by sleeve doesn't she and it looks great. This is quite a classic Stella combination. It makes me it? think of Madonna the day after her wedding when Stella designed her that. Very so. true yeah it is exactly that look isn't it. Like you were saying about the tailoring, it's got a real strong shoulder shape, which is quite a classic Stella, and she does like a white jacket, actually. And here we have a really simple classic knit from Bode, and that's quite a classic Stella piece. Yeah, I love cashmere. I, I live in cashmere in the winter. It's so kind of easy to wear. And yeah, very Stella, as you say. But you can't have too many of these, I don't think. No, absolutely. And uh, grey was something you picked out as a colour that she wears a lot and always looks very elegant and very modern in, doesn't she? I really like this top, that's such a lovely... I love it too. I have one really similar to this in navy and it's amazingly useful because it kind of covers your belly and you can put a nice belt with it as well when you want to cinch in a bit more. And as you say, the grey is endlessly useful. Well, I'm determined to do trousers because I think Stella does trousers amazingly and I never wear trousers, I only wear jeans. So I'd be interested to try a pair of trousers or maybe these black ones just to ease me in. <laughs> and, um, that's lovely. Yeah, I'm keen on the grey, so maybe a grey t-shirt and this black jacket. But I would have to have fancy shoes with that, you see, because that's just too plain for me. So um, maybe these crazy shoes down here. I really like those, I would totally wear those. Yeah, so maybe that. The whole look is just really stellar, it's really kind of very sort of simple, limited colour palette, skims over curves in a really kind of clever way, but with kind of, you know, quite exciting accessories. I love this bag, which is by Stella. 
These trousers, they're brilliant, and um, I think I'll get them. So yeah, overall I'm absolutely thrilled and I want to wear it at home.